guys did your Sophie Says so well last week, I think we should do it again. So you know the rules, if I say Sophie Says, then you have to copy me, but if I don't say Sophie Says, don't do anything and stand still. So are you ready? Sophie Says, run on the spot, run as fast as you can. Sophie Says, jump up and down, stretch out wide. What? Did I get anyone? Sophie says, give yourself a big hug. Now shake your body. Did I get anyone? Okay, last one. Sophie says, turn around, keep turning. Now go the other way. Oh, oh I'm a bit dizzy now. Well done, boys and girls. I'm sure you did so well at home. So let's get into the next part of the Nehemiah story. Hi boys and girls from Bounce and Jump, my name is Sonia and it's so good to be with you again this week. So who have we been learning about on Kids TV? Can you remember their name? Say it out loud. That's right, we've been learning all about Nehemiah, the cupbearer for the king, who went to help rebuild the walls of Jerusalem when God's people hadn't been doing what they should and the walls had broken down. I'm going to read you a little poem about Nehemiah. Now our friend Nehemiah was a very good man. He loved God lots and he had a great plan. His Israelite friends had knocked down the wall so he prayed to God and felt he had a call to go fix these walls to rebuild them strong and people would know that God is never wrong. People were mean. They laughed at his plans. They thought, what a silly, ridiculous man. They tried to trick him, called him names and were mean. Some tried to fight him, but he wasn't keen. He stayed close to God praying morning and night and people soon knew that with God's amazing might we can do anything we can trust him to help we don't need to cry run away or yelp God helped Nehemiah say stay strong and be brave and he trusted God with him he could save the broken down walls became bigger and strong and the people who had laughed realised they were wrong. The walls were finished and the people who had once been sad now praised God and thanked him. They were so glad. They worshipped him loudly and thanked God for his care and realised that God's plans are the best plans to share. You see boys and girls, we can trust God. Like Nehemiah, we can stay close to him, we can keep talking to him and whether we've got something small to do or whether the thing we've got to do feels like we're building a great big wall, we can trust that God will be with us.
tools. Isn't it so good that we know we can always put our trust in God? That's such a cool thing to know. But anyway, I'll see you next week. Bye everyone!